finally, what you've all been waiting for, a video to help you practice. So here on my music stand is a sheet of practice tips. I'm going to go through each one, just give you a few little extra hints as to what I actually mean. And I've probably already gone over it in your lesson, but in the hope that this will help you prepare for exams and auditions and concerts and all those other things that you want to be able to play, listen up. So, number one, schedule and plan. This is the easy bit. You can sit on your sofa and relax, but with a piece of paper or your smartphone, whatever you want to make notes on, decide when you're going to practice, how long for, and what you might practice when you have those practice sessions. So get your paper and your pencils out, your favorite colors, whatever, borrow your mum's phone, if she'll let you, and write down what you need to practice and when you're going to practice. It's really that simple. Point number two, your daily dozen. This is really, really the important bit. Here is an example, you grade eighters, you know this piece rather well, or you should. Can you see those coloured boxes? Ha ha, this is what I mean by daily dozen. And they don't need to literally be 12 of them. But put a box around very small sections that you find hard. For example, that's one of those bits, yes, you know who you are. And actually that's another one, you also know who you are on that one. Just practice those bits. Don't try and start at the beginning of a piece and plough your way through to the end and then think five pages later, oh, what did I need to go over? No, you can look at one page of your music, any of you, any grade, and you can probably say which are the tricky bits. Put a coloured box around them. Photocopy your music if you don't want to make marks on the original. Choose a colour. This is, happens to be one of my favourites and put boxes around those tricky bits. And then you're gonna take those boxes one by one, yes, one by one, and have a go at them. Do them slowly. You know I go on about the magic number. It can be seven, it can be 20. Mm. Mine's about an eight. And go over things slowly. Teach your muscles. Yeah, daily dozen doesn't have to be a dozen. As I said before, probably three or four little boxes will see you through in a short practice session. And I'll say more about that in a minute. So really the next few points, realistic goals, quality, quantity, little and often, they all, they all fit in together. Realistic goals, don't set yourself 20 boxes to do in 10 minutes. That's not going to happen. And if it does, it's not going to help you. So pick out three or four boxes and then just go over and over very carefully. If in 10 minutes, you manage to cover one box or two boxes, you're doing really well. You're doing better than I do. So just very carefully. And then go off and do something else. Maybe a few more scales. Ooh, uh, maybe another piece. Go and have a cup of tea. Go and have some tea. Come back and try again. Come back, try a different few boxes. The next day, different boxes. So each time, just pick out three or four boxes that you're going to go over and very quickly you'll find they're getting much better. That's all, folks.